Hello, Hike Vision and YouTube Hike Visioners. Today we're going to show you how to set up a, a spot monitor that'll bring up a full screen view on alarm. And then it'll continue to go back to the spot monitor and then rotate around your quad view and all your different views. That's handy to do. Oh, there's that. See, that's pulling up that one. Now we should go back to quad. It's handy to do and handy to have if you have multiple monitors around a building and uh, you want to see what is happening out there when you have an alarm or when you have a record action. So today what we're going to do, let's set this up. On the back of your, on the back of your, your uh, NVR you have a video output, a composite video out or a CVBS, which stands for Color Video Blanking and Synchronization. That is marked on the back of your machine, depending on which model you have. This here is a DS7716NI. Let's get started on how we set it up. So we go into our menu, and a system configuration. And we go to live view. Under the general tab, we select main CV. Yes. Okay, here we have our views. We have single screen, quad view, or two by two, or 16 channels. So if I want, I can go up here and change it to click on apply. And that'll bring up all 16 cameras. Which, with 16 cameras, that can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. The smaller your display screen, the smaller your windows are going to be for each camera view. Well, and if you have a really small monitor, like a little desk monitor or something, then you're not going to see any information. So, for what I've got, the quad view is correct for me. Now we're back to quad view. Okay. But wait a minute. It's not rotating. Let's see here. Okay, we have our dwell time set for five seconds. You can adjust that if you like up to 300 seconds. Yes, up to 300. Okay, that's set. Huh. Why is it not rotating? Well, Hike Vision and all their strangeness decided that if you want to see it rotate, need to go back to your live view so here we have live view in live view it does its continuous rotation just like it's supposed to with the dwell time okay so now we want this thing to bring up a, a full screen let's see if we can find ourselves something that'll do an alarm what does there's somebody out there what are they doing lighting up a blunt okay so we want to have this now bring up a full screen view when it records something since I have a PTZ with facial detection there it brings up the there it's bringing up the full screen monitor of it as long as it's showing an alarm It'll show, it'll show them and what they're doing. Okay, alarm is over. Oh, now let's start back again. Okay, so to set that up, we go into menu. Then the camera setup. In camera setup, you click on VCA, which is video content analysis. Video content analysis. We select whichever camera we want to use and have that set up on. So once you've selected your camera, 
you'll click on the set button. The set button. So now we go to linkage action. This is the important part. Under linkage action, you'll click on the full screen monitoring. That brings up a little warning says, please confirm the event output in live view setting menu is the same with the real event output. Click on apply, click on OK, click on apply. And of course, we don't have anything yet because it's not in live view. So we got to go back to live view. Okay, so there it is. Let me see if I can get this thing to trigger on these people at the park here. There they go. So it brings up a full screen. And there we go. Once it decides that the alarm is over or the recording is over, it goes back into rotating around. That's how you set it up. Thank you very much. Have a good day.